In this video, I will explain how to solve equations using graphs. In my examples, I'll use a quadratic and a linear graph, but the logic is the same for any type of graph. The steps to solve an equation graphically are simple. You start by plotting y equals to the left-hand side and y equals to the right-hand side, and then you just find the x-coordinates of the points of intersection. In example 1, I'm given the graph of y equals x squared minus x minus 6, and I'm asked to solve the equation x squared minus x minus 6 equals to 0. So if I follow my steps, I will get y equals to the left-hand side, which is y equals x squared minus x minus 6, and y is equal to the right-hand side, which is y is equal to 0. Now the left-hand side is already plotted, so all I have to do is plot the right-hand side, which looks like this. And the graphs intersect at minus 2 and at 3, hence the solutions are x equals minus 2 and x equals to 3. For example 2, again for the left-hand side I have y equals x squared minus x minus 6, which is already plotted. And for the right-hand side, this time I get y is equal to minus 4. And if I plot this, I get the following. These graphs intersect at two points. The x-coordinates of those two points are minus 1 and 2, and these are my solutions, so x equals minus 1, x equals to 2. For example 3, again, the left-hand side is the same as before, y equals x squared minus x minus 6, already on the grid, and then for the right-hand side, I get y is equal to x minus 3. Now this time, I'll need to make a small table of x and y values. So I'll select minus 3, 0, and 3. If I plug this into the red formula, I will get minus 6, minus 3, and 0. And if I plot this on the grid, I'll get the following line. Again, I have two points of intersection with the x-coordinates being minus 1, and 3. An example 4, I have a different case because the left-hand side is not the same as the graph that I have plotted, so I'll need to make some adjustments so that the left-hand side becomes the plotted graph. These adjustments involve the following. I'll need to adjust the 2x to become a minus x, so I'll subtract 3x, but I also need to do that on the right-hand side so the equation is not affected. Also, I have a minus 3 when I should have a minus 6, so I'll subtract another 3 on both sides, and now if I add left with left and right with right, I will get x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0, minus 3x minus 3 will give me minus 3x minus 3, and now y equals to the left-hand side, is exactly what I have plotted, and the extra thing I'll have to do is plot y equals to the right-hand side. Again, I'll need to make a table with x and y values. I'll use x minus 3, 0, and 1, and this will give me y values of 6, minus 3, and minus 6. And if I plot these values, I'll get the following graph. These are the two points of intersection, and their x values are minus 3 and 1. Finally, in example 5, note that the left-hand side starts with 2x squared, so before I start adding or subtracting, I'll need to divide by 2, so this will give me x squared plus 2x minus 2 equals 2x plus 4. So now I'll just add and subtract what is required to match the left-hand side to the plotted equation. So I've got 2x, I should have a minus x, so subtract 3x, but I need to do that in both sides. And I've got a minus 2 when I should have a minus 6, so I'll subtract 4 again on both sides. And if I add left with left and right with right, I'll get x squared minus x minus 6 equals to minus 2x, and the 4 and minus 4 cancels out. And as before, y equals to the left-hand side 
is exactly what I have plotted. Y equals to the right hand side is the new graph I will have to plot. Again, let's make a table. The points I'm going to use are minus 3 with 6, 0, 0 and 3 minus 6. I'll get the following line when I plot them. The points of intersection are at minus 3 and at 2 and these are the two solutions. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. You can also leave a comment below to tell us what you think.